Louisiana Beer Reviews, Parish Cane Break bottled version. I did a review of the draft version because it's also available on draft and um, I've never had it in bottle. I bought this at uh, Whole Foods Market in Metairie, Louisiana. So Louisiana Wheat Ales, 4.9% alcohol, brewed with added cane, uh, Steen's cane syrup, excuse me, cane syrup. All right, uh, says Best Buy, and then there's nothing on the label, so got to put the date if you're going to have the little area for it. I'm going to get this going. It's very hot, and it's going to warm up fast. This beer was introduced in 2011. Yeah, good amount of smoke. It's brewed in Lafayette Parish. Um, it's a good rating on Beer Advocate with only 35 ratings and a 51 out of 100 on Rate Beer, 87 out of 100 for the style, only 17 ratings, and a very fine score on the beer and me. Chances are you won't see it, but maybe the distribution is being widened. I don't know. Lots of streaming bubbles in this etch glass. A hazy, of course, it's, there's so much condensation, but still, yeah, hazy, uh, golden appearance. Uh huh. Not much of a head though. Thin white head. There was maybe a medium head, but it died right away. Let's go with the aroma. Yeah, it's very bready. <laughs> you know, like white wheat bread. With a touch of sweetness in it. <clears throat> and it's full. It's a pungent aroma. So it smells nice. Let's go with the flavor. And this beer is really popular around here. I mean, go to most bars and restaurants. They've got Parish Cane Break on tap, and a lot of people are ordering it. Taste is just like the aroma. Sweet, bready, wheat bread, white wheat bread, and that, that cane syrup. I remember, my, I remember my mother used to want to put Steen's cane syrup on pancakes, but I, I never really liked it. I found it was too intense. It was like too sweet, too harsh. Not so much sweet, but the, the cane, the Steen's pure cane syrup was too harsh to uh, have it straight on pancakes. Oh, here we go. No, it's just saying um, something 2913. I don't know. It's, it's not a code that makes sense. There's sediment down there. Uh, you still get some of that harsh cane syrup in the flavor. Um, it's a little bite to it. And it's not from hops. Um, I wouldn't think this beer is very heavily hop. Harris makes some other nice beers also. You can check out their website. Um, the mouthfeel is medium to heavy so it's kind of a thick chewy beer and the finish is semi-dry sweet and um, there is an underlying bitterness so how would I rate this I, I find it tastes better out of the draft the draft was was not as harsh with the you know the sweetness here is harsh the, the bitterness is kind of harsh even though it's not like what you would call hoppy it's just a bitterness from something it's thick in the mouth feel pretty thick in the mouth feel um, <laughs> the carbonation is heavy <laughs> but at least you can't say it's dull I'm pretty tired of dull beers well I'll give it a B plus I think it's a very good beer out of the bottle and it's probably more in, in the A area out of the draft um, I probably should try them side by side but anyway if you ever see it I recommend picking it up it's an interesting beer at least you can say that so 
Laissez Le Bon Ton Relay, this is a very good beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.